No, I cannot just wear another white t-shirt for this video. I have to look better for my audience than that. They deserve better. They expect better. I expect better of myself. I need to change it up a bit. I really do. And I think, I, 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 you know, I, I got the answers here. I got the answers, folks. It's a white t-shirt with gray on top. Genius. Um, we're back here. PMAC Movies, this is the one that you've been waiting for. I've been waiting for it, at least. I, I really enjoy these Kino Lorber sales. Um, I was waiting for a Kino Lorber sale. We got one. I was excited. I hoarded up. The great thing about Kino, if you take a look at the different boutique lines, is... Um, first of all, they don't have all their stuff in the sales, but they don't need to because their catalog is very large, um, I believe compared to a lot of other, you know, boutique labels. And they get movies that could be, um, you know, the, uh, just a great variety of things, you know, you got more, you got some classic movies, you have like 70s kind of fun gritty movies you have 80s movies, you have horror, you have, you know, art house movies, you have foreign movies, you have action movies, um, you have dramas. There's something for everybody from Kino Lorber. And, um, you know, it's $50 free shipping. I think it's very easy to find $50 worth of stuff from Kino. Um, and I've liked a fair amount of movies I've watched from them. Even if the movies like didn't get really good critical reviews, you know, I'll watch the movie and really enjoy it. Not everyone, of course, but um, I've enjoyed a lot of the kinos that I've watched. A lot of fun movies. Um, so definitely check it out. See what you find. Might might find some things that you haven't really heard of, but you look into the movie, and um, and it actually will sound very interesting to you. That's what happens to me a lot, anyway. But uh, the cool thing here today is. I just got a package in the mail. This, I believe, is the biggest of these three orders. And then I have another one that's not here yet that I will include in next week's haul video. But I'm excited about this one. This one has actually some of the more expensive ones that I ordered. Um, so we're going to take a look. I, I, I think it's going to be fun to look through these and just see the variety that you can get from Kino. You can really flesh out a lot of different types of genres and and decades, different decades, you know, more recent stuff, um, stuff, you know, from from many decades ago. So I, I really have a lot of fun with these Kino sales. Their catalog is just large and it's in charge. Let's take a look, let me, so I've pre-cut this. I'm gonna open this baby up. I don't want to look in there yet. I want to, I don't remember everything that I bought, but I do remember that there were some ones that were a little bit more expensive in this. So let's just go one by one, see what we got. Um, I got some more of these redemption ones. This one is a Jess Franco movie called Attack of the Robots. Now the actual movie got pretty good reviews. The picture quality for this one did not do very well. I think this one was 10 bucks, possibly nine. I have to take a look. But um, this one is from 1966, 93 minutes. It's in black and white. I hate when they put the paper in too low. You know, there a lot of times it'll get damaged, like on the spine especially, but this one looks fine. So uh, Attack of the Robots. Yeah, I just, you know, I, I almost didn't get this because the picture quality is not supposed to be the best, but I decided to still go ahead and snag it. And then, this is actually one that I had passed on before, but I looked into the movie more, and I actually thought it sounded really good. Um, this was not in their current summer sale. This was actually in their, you know, the ones that are going to be going out of print soon. And it is Last Embrace. Starring uh, Roy Sheeter, Roy Scheider, Sheeter. This was directed by Jonathan Dem, and it is from 1979. Love my 70s thrillers. Um, it says, let's see, twisting tale of murder and mystery, inspired by the great films of Alfred Hitchcock. Um, also starring Christopher Walken 
and some other people that I don't know. But uh, so it sounds like kind of a mystery little thriller here. And uh, to me, that's good. You know, I hate when these don't have subtitles. So it looks like this one doesn't have subtitles. Put out in 2014. I believe that one was also $9.99. We'll check. Now, this is like, a, I believe this is a British one. And this isn't from like their Studio Classics line. It is Slack Bay. I'm not sure if this, maybe it's French. Um, yeah, it's in French. And this has Juliette Binoche in it. She's She tends to be in pretty good movies. And it sounded like it was kind of like a, a fantasy comedy sort of thing. I'm not sure if I'm going to like it. I'm not sure if it's going to be up my alley. But it sounded pretty fun. You know, it looks fun just from the cover. And I think this one was a little bit cheaper, like $8.50-ish. Um, 122 minutes. I'm not sure what year this is from. It might actually be pretty recent based on the um, the dates on it. So I thought this was kind of a, a cool looking one. Something a little bit different for me to venture into. Up next, this is the most expensive one out of the whole lot. Hopefully this is two discs. I think so. Now this one it came out was apparently compared to Twin Peaks. Um... I don't think it's real similar to Twin Peaks, but I think it was like kind of the type of show that gets you thinking and it's kind of strange. It has some like matrixy elements to it. So it sounded really interesting and up my alley. So I decided to go for it, even though it was 15 bucks, a little bit more than I wanted to pay in this sale. But it's from 1993, it is 286 minutes. It is Wild Palms. I don't think that the show ended up doing that great, which is why it's, uh, you know, pretty short. Um, it says executive producer Oliver Stone, James Belushi is in it, um, it says directed by Catherine B Bigelow, it says it's a haunting sci-fi saga of greed, treason, and virtual reality. I really read, like, a lot of mixed stuff about it, like, some people really love this and some people didn't like it at all, but it's pretty new, and, um, just the, the subject matter of it I thought was something that I really wanted, I was really interested in. So I'm actually going to open this baby up now and take a look. It feels like it's more than one disc. It feels pretty sturdy here. Yeah, so it's it's uh, five episodes over two discs. Wild Palms. I always like to um, check the discs right after I get them, just in case there's an issue. That looks good. So happy to have that. This is one that I plan on watching like pretty soon. That's why I'll pay a little bit more for it, because I'll you know I'll pay pay a little bit more if I really want to watch it or I think it's not going to drop much. I think that one probably will drop more. I wouldn't be surprised if this goes to around like ten bucks at some point, but I'll pay a few more bucks for it. Up next, we got another heavy feeling one. This is one that was also a little bit more expensive, but it was like twelve fifty, and it's a two disc edition, so those don't necessarily go a whole lot cheaper. Uh, Reg Park and Christopher Lee in Hercules in the Haunted World. It looks like this has several different versions of it. You got an eighty four minute U.S. version, eighty six minute Italian version, eighty one minute U.K. version. New 2K restoration. We have special features. We got special features. We got glare and we got special features. Let's open this up too, you know, just in case if you're interested in how this looks on the inside. Maybe we even got reverse artwork. You never know. Little Mario Baba. All right. The Mario... The discs look the same. Here's here's the two discs. I'm not sure how to differentiate between the two discs. The Mario Baba collection. They look like the exact same. Oh, this says Hercules in the Haunted World. This one says Hercules in the center of the Earth. So is that just the different uh, U.S. release version? U.S. in the Haunted World. European release version. Vampire or something. Hercules in the center of the earth. Hmm. 
Are they that much different that they have different titles? Whew. Looks good, looking good. So yeah, you can see that the red titles there are different. That's the only thing that differentiates between the two discs. So that one was twelve fifty. I'll make sure on the prices here as long as I remember at the end. Um, up next, I decided to get Sidney Poitier in the organization here. Um, I have They Call Me Mr. Tibbs on DVD. And I think They Call Me Mr. Tibbs was considered not as good of a movie. And it was like 10 bucks. This one's considered better and it was like 7 bucks. And I do have the first one. Um, does it say it on the back here? Uh, in the Heat of the Night, which I, I liked that one. I actually didn't end up finishing it, but I liked it. And then I got preoccupied with something else. So um, at some point I need to watch these. But this is the third one following the masterpiece in the heat of the night and the thrilling sequel they call me mr tibbs my co-worker at uh, walmart used to always say that i love that guy he's uh he's passed away now but he was a he was a really good guy um bradley bradley um up next another redemption one another pete walker one house of whipcord this is one that i thought i might have um, I looked into it a little bit, and I apparently don't have it. I, unless, you know, I might, I have, like, Schizo and the Comeback here, but I, I don't think I ever got House of Whipcord, so now I have it. I read, you know, pretty, generally decent things about it, so I decided to go ahead and get it. I like to get these redemption titles. There are a few that were just a little bit too expensive, or ones that just sounded like they were god-awful, so I'm not going to get them just to get them. Up next, Bill Shatner. This one was another one that was a little bit more pricey, but who knows if this is going to go cheaper. At $12, um, Kingdom of the Spiders. I hate when they have that little fold. Look at, look at, you know, sometimes they have that little fold on the edges. I don't know what's up with that. They got to do, do a better job on the quality control. But uh, Kingdom of the Spiders, Bill Shatner. Is he jacking it there on the front? What the heck is he doing? Um, this is a Code Red release, region free. Um, 2016 2K HD scan. Um, so yeah, I don't know a whole lot about this movie. I heard, I, I read that it's kind of like a fun, you know, what is this, 70s, 70s uh, horror movie. Looks kind of cheesy. Captain Kirk. Kicking some spiders' ashes. Up next, we got another redemption one. Jess Franco's The Awful Dr. Orla. Another one that um, I read generally decent things. You know, not great stuff about it, but it sounded decent. From 1962, 86 minutes. Snagging up these redemption titles. I think they were, the ones I bought here were $9.99 each. Um, another one that is a, jeez, another, oh, this is a Scorpion one. This is a Terror Train. And this one also, why do they, they keep having that folded artwork? That is, uh, kind of strange. I mean, it doesn't bother me a lot, but it could. It's annoying. Jamie Lee Curtis, Ben Johnson, David Copperfield. This one was a little bit more expensive. Again, this was like 13 bucks, but I believe this has a better transfer here on this version of uh, Terror Train than the Scream Factory because Scream Factory released like an early, uh, I believe an early collector's edition of this, but this is a 2K scan from Scorpion um, from 1980, 97 minutes. Some Jamie Lee Curtis in a folded corner for the more expensive ones I got. You, you sons of guns. Oh, cool, I got the... Uh, slippy dippy for this one that's pretty cool this is i believe is a three disc set i thought it was a pretty good deal for five movies it is oss one oss 117 it has oss 117 is unleashed uh, panic in bangkok mission for a killer mission to tokyo double agent this was compared to like um 
uh, James Bond, like French, a French version of James Bond. So that was pretty interesting to me. For 20 bucks, I thought it was a good deal. And I'm glad that it came with the Slippy Dippy. Let's see what we got in here. So we got uh, the inside there. Let's let's take a look at this too, in case you guys are interested. I mean, I think this is a pretty good bargain for 20 bucks. Five movies. Never seen any of them, of course. Hopefully, uh, yeah, they must have subtitles. It's in French. Der. So they got like, it looks like a stacked disc. I wonder why they went with this kind of packaging. It seems like they could have done like a, a smarter way of packaging it. Um, but oh well, what can you do? You can bitch and complain. There was a little tiny scratch on the one disc, but the other two look fine. So that's going to have to do. Let's see. This has got two movies on it. Yeah, it's just got a, a little scratch you can't even see there. Nothing that's going to affect anything. Can't, can't expect perfection anymore. It seems like there's more scratches on Blu-rays. I remember when I first started collecting Blu-rays, you would never get a disc that's scratched, even a little bit. But now, you know, the, the quality control must have went down. And lastly, this is one that's like another one from their going out of print sale. Uh, it was, a, again, a little bit more than I wanted to pay, but it's going out of print, so I snagged it. It is Avenging Force. I read that this is one of Michael Dudikoff's best movies. Um, again, from 2014. Kino must not have been doing subtitles back then or something. It doesn't look like this has subtitles. And again, with that thing, that's... It's it's a bad percentage of how many have like messed up artwork. It's a, it's a pretty crappy percentage, but uh, that's everything in that box. Let's take a look and make sure I got the prices right here. I like that they list the prices on this. Um, so House of Whipcord was eight ninety nine. I don't think I said that. Uh, Slack Bay was indeed eight fifty. Uh, the rest of Hercules and the Hunter World twelve fifty. I was right about all the other prices. They're all accurate. What I, what I said before. Um, yeah. So let's move on to the next thing. Let's move on. Man, I'm already I'm already kind of tired here. I don't know. I don't know how we're gonna do here in this last stretch. What do you guys do? Like, so OSS 117, the first disc has a very, very light scratch. Does that bother you? I mean, it kind of bothers me, but at the same time, I, I, I know it's not really going to affect a whole lot. And um, once I buy other things and move on from it, like I'm not even going to think about it. So is it really that big of a deal? I don't know. It's still kind of annoying, though, because, like, say I ever wanted to sell this or something, like, it kind of hurts the value of it to have a, a scratch, even though it's a small one. But what do you guys, how do you guys handle scratches, especially if you buy it brand new? It shouldn't have any scratches on it. Let's take a look at some of the other redemption and horror movies that I bought during this sale. Um, and I will, I don't, actually, I do have all the prices. So I have the, the sheets here for the prices. I got House of Mortal Sin here, which sounded like another good one from Pete Walker. Um, like I said, I was going through these Redemption ones. Um, pretty much if they were $10 or less and they sounded decent, I was getting them. I think I, I did end up getting a $12 one too that's coming. And then another one that sounded pretty good at the $10 price point. Successive Slidings of Pleasure. Sounds sexy. There's that one. This one looks like it's a little bit more artsy. This one I started to watch, the Asphyx, Asphyx I think it was called. I like um, Robert Powell. I watched the first 50 minutes or so of this, and it's, it's okay, it's kind of boring, but uh, it's okay. From 1972, 86 minutes. Now, I read after that there's actually a longer version of this. It's like I can't, it's like 13 minutes or something more, 
which the extra footage is on this. Um, it says standard UK release version and extended US cut. But I think the extended US cut, the it's not like in very good quality. So I'm not sure exactly why Kino would do it that way. Um, who knows, but uh, it's a standard UK release version, which is the one that's in HD. The extended US cut, I guess I'm gonna have to look into it if, you know, most of it's in HD and then just the certain parts are not or the whole thing isn't, I don't know. But uh, grab that one, I believe that was 10 also. Then we get into some of like the horror kind of stuff. We got Cannibal Apocalypse. I think everybody and their mother snagged this one from the sale. This one I think came out pretty recently. Copyright 2020 from 1981. It's uh, the movies from 1980, 96 minutes. Looks like a fun one. Heard good things about it. And it is a 4K master. That Another cool thing about Kino is they will have their like stuff that just came out in these sales, surprisingly. I don't know that it's smart to do it that way for them, but that's how they do it. And, and I think it's cool that they do. Um, then I got Link. This one, it seemed like was like 12, 11, 12 bucks in previous sales. And I was like, eh, I'm not paying that much for it. But at $9 for some Elizabeth shoe? Yeah, I'll snag that. I think it's this, this like, uh, this monkey, this ape or whatever, chimpanzee is, uh, getting nasty he's getting aggressive from 1986 103 minutes you gotta love some elizabeth shoe especially when she was younger um then we got one heard pretty good things about this highway to hell sounds like a pretty fun one don't don't really know exactly what i'm getting here but i heard good things it's from 1991 94 minutes i beard myself and then, this is one that uh, I think has a UK release. It was a little bit cheaper I was looking into getting, but I I think I read that the Kino was better, so I went ahead and waited, and it came up in the sale for $9.99. Some Blaxploitation. Truck Turner. Heard that this one's pretty good, so I I'd snag it. Uh, Isaac Hayes plays uh, Truck Turner in this crime thriller. From director Jonathan Kaplan, who directed White Line Fever. Uh, from 1974, 91 minutes. Bargoon. Another one that looked pretty good. Kind of a... I don't know if it's like action, drama. I think it's a couple cops who get into uh, addiction. From 1991, 120 minutes. It's Rush, starring Jason Patrick. And Jennifer Jason Leigh. Sam Elliott also in it. William Sadler's in this one. So I decided to go ahead and snag that. We got more Michael Dudikoff in River of Death. This is one I think... I think this one might have had like an 88 films release in the UK that I thought about getting passed on it. Went ahead and snagged up the Kino Lorber one. I think this was about 10 bucks. 1989, 107 minutes. Some fun, looks like a fun uh, action movie. Then uh, this is this is more of a drama, I think. It, it this one was only like five fifty. It's Newport South. Now this was the one from those orders that had like the most damage to it. Like you can see again, it's got the little thing there, and then the bottom. You can see the bottom of it. Uh, the paper there got messed up, but. What can you do? Bitch and complain. I, I did watch part of this one. As you can see, I got I got Star Trek Deep Space Nine disc in there because I, I swapped them. But uh, I got to continue that. I didn't watch enough of it to say anything about it. Now, this one got really bad reviews, but it sounded interesting to me. Edward Furlong and This Is Not A Movie sounded like there's some like conspiracy stuff in here. Um, you know, I'll watch it, see how it is. Who knows? This one says Horizon Movies. Horizon Movies on there. But then if you take a look at the bottom, it says like Kino Lorber, KinoLorber.com, stuff like that. So I don't know. I read pretty bad things about it. Don't expect a lot, but it just, it sounded like it was up my alley as far as what the movie's about. Read good things about this one. This one was a little bit cheaper. I think like 850 maybe. It is, um... 
a Joel Schumacher film starring Kate Blanchett, and it looks like uh, what's his face is in it. You know what's his face, don't you? Colin Farrell. Um, Ciaran Hines is also in this. I always feel like Ciaran Hines is such a creepy son of a gun. Like in real life, he's got to be a really creepy guy. Um, produced by Jerry Bruckheimer. This is from 2003. It is 98 minutes. I think Juliette Binoche plays a uh, a journalist, so this will be an interesting one to watch. Um, up next, we got Angela Lansbury and Michael York in Something for Everyone here. Michael York, I like him from um, Logan's Run. That's a really good one. This is from 1970, 112 minutes. It sounded like it was kind of a, a comedy, like a drama comedy. It says, starring this slick blend of drama and black comedy with a fairy tale setting in a Bavarian castle. Me and Charmy like to watch these kind of movies together. Um, so it looked like it would be a fun one. We got the usual little Kino discard, which is uniform. I uh, had to get this one because of Donald Sutherland. Donald Sutherland in A Man, A Woman, and A Bank. Now, this is another one that had the messed up artwork. I pulled it out a little bit to fix it a little, but you can tell it's kind of still bent there. And then it'll bend up in here, too, because it got it gets pulled here, so then it pulls up the rest of this a little bit. You know, not, not a huge deal. Um, I'm not going to, like, complain about it or anything. I mean, what can you do? There's that. We got another Donald Sutherland to the Blu-ray collection. Donald Sutherland's another guy. He just seems like a really creepy son of a bitch. But, you know, I tend to like his movies. I tend to be intrigued by his characters. But he is a creepy son of a bitch. I mean, you, you can just get a read from people. You just know. Now, this is a more recent one. And I, I was interested in this a big part because Ty Sheridan's in it. I like him. Also, Jeff Goldblum. So, Ty Sheridan and Jeff Goldblum in The Mountain here. This is from 2018. 109 minutes. It had it said it like a uh, mental institution, which also intrigued me. You know, the, just because Ty Sheridan's in it doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to get it. But it said it like an asylum. And, and Ty Sheridan's character is like, I think he's... Uh, learning from Jeff Goldblum's character, so I wonder if some messed up stuff happened. You know, whenever you see these Asylum movies, it's always some messed up crap in there. Um, up next, I had to get this. This has got Toshiro Maifun in it. You gotta snag that up. From 1968, Hell in the Pacific. And this one, I believe, has to do with these two... Um, Maybe it's during, is it during World War II, maybe? And uh, these guys are stranded on an island. You know, one is Japanese and one is American, I'm assuming. Uh, Lee Marvin and Toshiro Maifun. And uh, there's some, I guess there's stuff happens between them on the island. And, and they kind of, they eventually have to try to help each other. So, sounds like an interesting one. We got reverse artwork on this baby. There we go. They both got little beardies there. A uh, few more left. I think we got just the... Um, some of the foreign movies I got. So I did decide to get a few of these foreign movies. I do tend to like Asian movies. I looked into this one. Sounded good. Old Stone. Johnny Ma's thrilling debut, fe debut feature... Old Stone, 80 minutes from 2016. It says China uh, slash Canada. Um, looks like Kino put this out in 2018, but it's kind of a short one, you know, uh, 80 minutes, but I read good things about it, so snag that up. And uh, this, these ones are a little bit different. I think they're, you know, it's not from the Studio Classics line, so it does have some artwork on it. Then this one was a little bit more expensive. This one was $12. Um, I believe the director of this, uh, uh, Criterion, has put out some of his stuff. And I do have those ones. It is Legend 
of the mountain. Man, I gotta fix the artwork on this. It's all slid all over. This is 191 minutes. Uh, Chinese movie from 1979. It's just one disc, but it has the booklet and a little bit different artwork too. Because it's again, it's not from the it's from the Kino Classics line, not the Studio Classics. I guess those are different lines. Got to fix the artwork under the plastic there. I don't want it sticking way out. That was a cool one. And then another Asian one. Uh, what country is this? Korean. A Hard Day here. A Hard Day. Um, I think I read this is like a kind of a suspense. But it had comedy to it. It says a pitch black comedy with style to burn. 111 minutes. From 2014? Another one from their... Uh, this just says Kino Lorber. It doesn't say classics on this one. And there's that. So they got a few different lines they're pulling from. And then this one sounded really good to me. Sounded really interesting. It is called The Measure of a Man. I think I spit a little bit. I see some saliva on the case. Watch out for the CV. It's all over your movies. Um... The Measure of a Man, 91 minutes from 2015. What? Uh, French. This is French. And I'll read the back of this because this one sounded really interesting to me. In The Measure of Man, of a Man, Vincent Linden gives his fin finest performance to date as an un unemployed everyman, uh, Thierry, Thierry? who must submit to a series of quietly humiliating ordeals in his search for work. Uh, feudal retraining courses that lead to dead ends, interviews via Skype, a workshop critique of his self-presentation by fellow job seekers, all are mechanisms that seek to break him down and strip him of identity and self-respect. In his award-winning performance, Vincent Linden is quietly heartbreaking Revealing the soul of the unemployed. I thought it sounded like a really good drama and something that uh, has really escalated here recently with, you know, what's going on right now. We do got artwork on that. So that is my gigantic Kino haul. But I'm just curious, you know... You can't sweat the small stuff, is, is what I say. So there's always going to be little imp imperfections on things you buy. Um, how much does it bother you? Just a, a little, you know, a little thing on the disc or like this little thing here. I mean, this is one that I decide to pay a little bit more for and then the artwork's messed up. I mean, I could really let it bother me, but I think it's like, it's like what can you do? You know, it's it's out of your control, kind of. It's I don't think it's really worth complaining about or really putting a lot of energy into but what do you guys think do you do you get bothered by those sort of things um so let me know in the comment section let me know what you think of my haul here this this was a a decent portion of cash and let me know your thoughts i did say i was going to take a look at the orders here the receipts um i think i was pretty accurate on the prices um Yeah, it looks like everything everything I said was correct. Um, yeah, Newport South was a little bit cheaper, five forty nine. Veronica Guerin was eight forty nine. Uh, but everything else, this is not a movie, was uh, eight ninety nine. But most of them were nine ninety nine. And then I think I mentioned the ones that were a little bit more. So let me know your thoughts. Take a look in the description for ways that you can help out the channel if you enjoy my videos. I do appreciate the thumbs up. I appreciate the comments. Any um, anything that you can do to help out the channel, I do appreciate. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this sale. Hope you participated and got some good movies. Let me know in the comment section. Boom. Don't repeat the same stuff. I hate it when people repeat the same thing over and over, but I probably do sometimes too. What can you do? We'll see you next time on PMAC Movie.